This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Thursday, August 25th. Carnival Cruise Line has announced that starting September 6th, unvaccinated guests will be able to submit an unsupervised test to satisfy the pre-cruise testing requirement. This applies to voyages 15 nights and shorter. Cruises that visit Bermuda, Canada, Greece, and Spain are excluded from this change. As well, travel insurance is no longer required for unvaccinated guests unless it's required by a specific destination on the itinerary. Earlier this week, Royal Caribbean and Celebrity implemented the same change regarding the self-test. And the keel has been laid for the upcoming Celebrity Ascent, marking the official start of the construction for Celebrity Cruise's next Edge-class ship. To celebrate, the shipyard and cruise line held a coin ceremony, which a coin was welded onto the keel of the vessel. This is a maritime tradition that is supposed to bring good fortune to the ship. Ascent is Celebrity's fourth Edge-class ship following the 2018 launch of Edge and the two subsequent sister ships, Apex and Beyond. The vessel will debut in December of next year, from Port Everglades and will spend the inaugural season operating alternating Caribbean itineraries. And if you're flying to your next cruise, you may want to think twice about checking your bag. According to the latest report by the Department of Transportation, over 237,000 bags were lost or sent to the wrong destination in the month of May. The top three culprits... American with 76,000 bags, Delta with 44,900 bags, and Southwest with 41,000 mishandled bags. Allegiant, Frontier, and Spirit all held the record for the fewest lost bags. And if you're wondering what happens when you get on a cruise ship without luggage, the cruise line will do their best to accommodate you with the essentials, but you may be required to buy some cruise line branded gear until the airline locates and forwards your bags to the ship. If that happens, it's also a good reason to also carry travel insurance. And cruise line stocks were up on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation up 5%, 10.05. Royal Caribbean up 8%, 40 41.93 and Norwegian up 9%, 14.01. Breaking news in this week's podcast, a review of Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.